So today's video is going to be about grooming this little fella, Jay. Now Jay, he is a very thick coated pussycat. So although he's short, well I'd say medium, medium, short to medium hair, his coat is extremely dense. So I've just started grooming before I realised we haven't started on the video. So you can see what's come out of him already. And that's just sort of the shoulder area, really. So, <clears throat> and without further ado, we'll get straight in and get started on him. So, same as always, we literally are going to do the same thing as we always do. We start at the, at the bottom, work up to the spine, in sections to the width of the comb. So, we're using the molten comb. Again, all the links to the, to the combs and the brushes that you need are always underneath my videos. So I'm just going to get started with Jay. So he's very dry, very ugh, I should say is the word I would say. Ugh. <laughs> and you can see these pelts here down his back. Okay, these big tufts. Which they won't come out with the comb, they will have to be clipped away. But uh, when he was originally booked in and chatting to mum, it sounded like he was going to need a full lion clip. However, once he's got here this morning and I've had a good look at his coat, I've managed to get a lot away, just over the top of the shoulders already, just very quickly, just going with the comb. These ones, these are a bit more solid, they will need clipping out. But he doesn't need to fall everything off him, which I prefer not to do. I always try and do what's needed for the cat rather than, you know, for anything for looks wise. So again, I've just done this little section here, so I know he's clear here. So then we'll just move on to the next little bit here. So again, in at the bottom, get your part line. And it's much easier to see on a shorter haired cat what I'm actually doing. And where you feel the comb catching, obviously there's some things there. So just tease away with the comb until you're happy and then you can get through. Good boy, Jay. You can see what's out. <clears throat> I think we're going to have quite a mound out of you, aren't we? Hey, we are. With this big thick coat. Good boy. So we're getting up to the top now where he's a little bit matted. So again, just on these top ones here, the smaller ones, I know I can get out with the comb. That's with years of experience. And he was very, very dull here. Can you see the difference in colour already? So he's gone white to here now, and you can see the sort of grey, dirty section. So it means the old hair has now come away. I mean, big load there. The old hair's come away from there. And there you go. There's one of those big tufts that originally, anyone looking at it would have thought, oh gosh, he's going to have to be shaved out. But they've come out. Here's another one. This will probably come out with the comb as well. See the colour on that? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Straight out. It's just knowing how to help them. And I've already said to mum, because of his age, he's 11 now, and he's uh, a little on the larger side for a, a pussycat, they do struggle to reach round. So this could be part of the problem. He can't reach the back to groom. <clears throat> so he needs help. So I've suggested to mum to get a molten comb and also to get a zoom groom. Again, as I said, listed underneath the video, just to go through him every day. Because when he leaves here today, there'll be nothing left in this coat, knots or tangles or anything like that. So if mum can give him a few minutes a day just to keep on top of him, go through him with the comb and then reward him with the zoom groom. Now I did the zoom groom on him earlier, just for a couple of minutes and he loves it. And again, this will get away so much of this thick coat from. 
Look at that already. Just coming away. So reward with the zoom groom and then you can go back to your comb. But he's not a restless cat on here at all. So I'm just going to carry on and go into here. So again, this hand is just holding the skin while we go in there. He just needs a really good thin out. Amazing, isn't it, what comes out? Good boy. What a good boy you are. Okay, and when we're happy, that's that whole section done. That whole comb will go through nicely there. Good boy, Jay. And then, <clears throat> you might even just have a little look at this. Let's just see. Okay, look, straight out. That one I'm not going to attempt with the comb because it's a big one. We'll just give that a little nip out with the clippers. And those couple there. But we'll get as much around him out as I can. Oh, are you helping, Jay? Yeah. Hey, are you saying get those off my back? I would love those gone from my back, please. Good lad. So they do irritate the cats. You know, and they know they're there because they're pulling on them. Look at you, you look like you've had a bath. Looking nice and white and sparkly already. We haven't even put anything on yet. So again, start at the bottom, work up. He's a bit thick here, so there's coat coming away. Good lad. And that's all you need to do all over him uh, to keep on top of his coat and then the zoom groom over him as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on now, but what I'm going to do in between each lift up of the comb, because I want to get some condition into his coat, is I'm just going to spray him. I'm actually going to put some oatmeal on in here. Just, <clears throat> just to get that into his coat as I'm grooming him. And it'll just make his coat feel softer, give him a bit of condition, and make him feel like a cat again. Hey, good boy. Right, so you can see these little bits sticking up off his back, off Jay's back now. So we're just going to get the clippers onto those. Okay, so there you go. Solid. You wouldn't get a comb into that whatsoever. So the best thing is to just nip those out for him. Another one. Good boy. Not phased at all by these clippers, is he? No. Pretty. There you go. Now see, he was trying to nibble there because he wants these off. <laughs> there you go, baby. Good lad. So let me just, I'm just gonna come. Good boy.
So to the eye, he still looks white there, but those pelts have gone now. So let's get rid of them because he is trying to eat any fur on the table. Aren't you, mister? <laughs> you are? That'll feel better, mister, won't it? Oh, Jay, is that better? Oh, he says, thank you. Thank you for getting rid of those off my back. Good boy. Yeah. Good lad. How nice does that feel? Hey, how nice does that feel now with them gone? Now that won't take long to grow back at all. And he will just feel so much better once we've got all this debris out of his coat because he's so thick. Really thick coat, haven't you? Okay, so I'm just going to carry on on the other side now. I'll just cross over there. Okay. Right. Mr. J, can I put you over here? Go there for me. Good boy. Good boy. There he is. There he is. Oh, that'll feel nice now, won't it? Hey, we have to go over there. Good boy. So the whole thing with grooming is to bring the natural oils through your cat's coat. Um, doing that, it um, helps waterproof the coat for them as well. So that if they are outdoor cats and they like to be outside, which he does, he loves to be out in the rain, apparently in the wind, then the coat will naturally protect them because all the oils are through. So when you're bringing the oils through the coat through grooming like this, it's like you're putting a conditioner onto them, but with their own natural stuff. And then it keeps them warm when it's cold. And it keeps you waterproof, doesn't it? Especially being here in the UK, you need to have your waterproof coat, don't you, Jay? Hey. So that's going through lovely. You just see how much stuff's coming away from mm. it. Amazing. Quite dense, isn't it? A very dense coat. Oh, I've taken that off. Yeah, should we see him later? No, I'll just keep going for a bit. People like to see, don't they? What's going on? I know a few of my customers say, oh, we'd rather see a whole groom. I say, well, sometimes those grooms can last for an hour, an hour and a quarter, which is why we sort of cut the video slightly and come back to you. But I just want to show you this. Dense, dense coat, and what a good boy he's been. Good boy. So the comb is following the, the line of the cat down. Good boy. So we're not digging in, we're not going straight in with the comb, we're going down with the comb. Good boy. You're a sweetie, aren't you? You helping me? Oh, you help. Oh, let me keep taking this off because you've got a habit of eating it, haven't you? Hmm. You've got a habit of eating it. Is that nice? Is that nice? See, he can't reach. He's trying to get round there. He can't reach. This is why his mass, his back has got masses. Good boy. Let's do it for you, Jay. Hey, let's do it for you. Mummy's going to keep doing it, isn't she? 
It's just amazing to see how much fur can actually come off. He's a short toad, isn't he? I'd say he's a yeah, short to medium, medium isn't he? Yeah. So a few little knotties down here again in this thick coat. All right, Papa. Come on, let's have you that way. So I can reach. Good boy. So we've got knotties here. I'm just gonna put a bit of spray on. Good boy. And again, we're just gonna tease these up. They're coming away. All those little knots there, they're actually just hooking in on the comb, coming away, no problem. Another little one there, coming away. Okay, babies. That's it. There's those gone. So it's just a case of being patient and, um, you know, just keep teasing them out. So that was a knot. And again, we just got the comb underneath it and it came out nicely. You're not here to tear at the cat. You're here to just tease them and tease them. And sometimes you just get your fingers and just pull and they come away and they lift away nicely for you. So all that's gone from there. I'm happy with that. Okay, so that's all the knots gone. So I'm just going to work through them again because he's got such a thick coat. I'm going to go through them again and then uh, thin him out that little bit more. And then uh, Steve can come back and we'll go on from there. Here is Jay, all done, all finished. You'd think he'd had a bath. He's gone to like a gleaming white now. It's with all the dead fur being removed. So you can see all that that's come away from him. That's just come from the comb and just that little bit of shaving on his back, not much at all. So that's all what was stuck in his coat. So he'll feel so much lighter. He's been a really good boy. Haven't you? Hey? Been a real good boy. Yes. Quite enjoyed your fussies, haven't you? Hey, you've quite enjoyed your fussies. So I'm just gonna clean his eyes just before I put him back in the box, just give him a little wipe. And that's him all done. Hey. 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 Hey.